beer tubers. Welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Hoppets. Today, joined by the Panther, Steven. And my name is Alex. <laughs> I eat babies. <laughs> and yeah, today we're going to be looking at a uh, macro beer. What beer is this, Steven? All right, today we're going to be looking at Coors. It's brewed in the Rockies. What's, uh, it's a 5% alcohol by volume beer. It says, a brand that has stood the test of time, brewed with 100% Rocky Mountain water for a legendary taste. It's brewed in Colorado, here in the Americas. Um, it's a pale lager. There you go, you can check it out. Ugh. Yeah, this beer was actually really popular at one, at one point, like before we started getting the microbrewery revolution over here. I heard like people would drive to fucking Colorado to pick up course. So, it's good. In that sense, it's good, but now it's a big macro beer, so I'm probably not gonna like it as much as, much as you guys, but. So let's crack it open. Master of Hobbits. Of course. Ooh, that of guy, course. That guy's going crazy. <laughs> That's just crazy. Uh, what color would you call this, guys? Uh, it's like honey colored. Dude, there's a fucking hair in my beer. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, definitely has got some like bubbles in it, uh, like the volcano, like the uh, owl beer that we have. Uh, from Japan. Uh, to me, this looks like piss. Let's take all the aroma. That's good. You guys like it? It doesn't smell like anything. Really. It smells. I get some little kind of like a sweet maltiness in there. A little bit of hops. Just a little, maybe. Yeah, maybe like a little bit of a grassy hoppy note. Yeah. I this is like from the beer we we just reviewed a big ass Imperial Stout on eleven percent going to this. This smells like nothing. Yeah, this just smells kinda of just like water compared yeah. to that Imperial Stout. Water with beer flavor. That's so so flavorsome. <laughs> Not <laughs> that shit good. <laughs> Your favorite beer? Dude, this stuff goes down like water. It's just good. <laughs> well that's not what you want. It's just good. This is like my fifth one today too. Fifth one? Yeah, I had a bunch earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, mouthfeel is light. It's crisp. It's really crisp and refreshing. It's, yeah. a, it's a lawn mower beer. If yeah. you mow the lawn, it's good, but... I, I don't really taste the malty too much. It's not... It's, it's it kinda, doesn't taste like much. It's kind of sweet. You can taste the hops in it, but it's a... I mean, if this isn't their light beer... This guy's beer, getting excited. <laughs> if this isn't their light beer, I mean... Look yeah. At, like, look at this color. It's it's really light. There isn't too much flavor going on in it. You can kind of taste some hops. I guess a little bit of malt. Yeah, a little gas, bit of grass. Yeah. It's it's just it's not very flavorful. If this was warm, this would be shitty as fuck. Yeah, it's kind of just a beer you have to drink cold. If you guys have it's ever, a really cheap. If you guys have ever had PBR, this shit. Tastes godly compared to that shit. <laughs> that shit bad. Uh, 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 Very well carbonated beer. Uh, <laughs> Win. Kobe. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a well carbonated <laughs> beer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah. I've been burping all day. Sweet malt, a little bit of hops. I don't think this is particularly good. I would drink this at a party to get drunk. That's it. I would never pick this beer up for enjoyment. Rating boys for me, I have had worse beers. I admit it. One of the worst beers I've had is um, the, the regular, yeah, Bush Light and the the Cruise Light are both 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 really bad. This is not really good either. I'm gonna give it a thirty. It's you can drink it if you're drunk and shit, but I would not spend time on beer like this. Personally, I would give this a rating. Oh, we're gonna slam the rest of the I don't know, probably about a 35. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> Alex is just you. cracking up right now. Sorry. <laughs> we're gonna slam it the, the rest by the end. Well, fuck you guys, I already almost killed my Yeah, but, well, hold on. We're, wait, no, no, okay. no. Uh, honestly, as far as cheap beers that you can buy by the 30 pack go, I would probably put this up there in the top. It's not a bad cheap beer, but if you're looking for a good beer, this is definitely not what you want to get. This is like a party kind of college beer that you can buy relatively cheap. Um, what do I do with green when you get this, Alex? I just I puked a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what grade are you going to give a beer like this? Uh, 
Well, I don't know. It's it's hard. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> there we are. See, because uh, I really don't like dark beers, and uh, these guys are really into dark beers. Or I am. <laughs> this guy. This guy's not so much. Uh, I don't know. I've had some good beers that are like this. Uh, this like Japanese owl beer uh, that I had. I did a review on with Das Peter uh, a few weeks ago. That was good beer. Uh, this is definitely not up to that level. This is like shitty compared to that. Yeah. Uh, so, but I do like this, and because there is a five percent alcohol percentage on this, and it's twenty three ninety nine for a thirty pack, so you're, it's less than a dollar a beer, which is a good deal. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have to go with uh, a forty um, because I'm gonna add in the uh, cost factor with yeah. the taste value because this. For the price of this beer, this is probably one of the better beers you can get for this price. This is probably the best beer you can get for so that, that price. So, I mean, that's a really it's a college price. drink, and fuck, I've had like five of these today, and I'm going to go get a few more. <laughs> but, uh, so, I mean, I'm down to drink these whenever, and because they're not that expensive, like, I'd rather buy these over like an $18 or 30 rack of PBRs or something else, or Bush Light, because those just taste disgusting. So yeah, definitely gonna go with a 40 on this. Cut, do a 35 for taste. Add in five because it's a good. It's cute. Cute. good. Good. Okay. good cut. It's cost effective. For it it is up. very cost effective, and being compared to other pale lagers, it's it's not that bad for the price. For the exactly. price. Exactly. Right? So I mean, right. if you're willing to spend that. like three, four bucks for a beer, then sure, go for the other stuff. I do that any right. day. But if I want a 80 cent beer, fuck it, I'm taking this. Just a cruise. That's the opinion, guys. Yep. Let us know what you think of all the regular cruise if you had it. Uh, <coughs> very well carbonated shit. Uh, we're gonna say cheers, me and Steven, just slam the rest of this stuff. Cheers. Cheers, and we'll see you guys for another beer review. Ah!